okay, so there might be a little bit of pressure perhaps, All right. but it feels like I'm um, going underwater. It's yep. a really strange sensation. All right. All right. Here we go, slowly. It's coming up. It's now filling up the ear. Hey guys, back at NAM, we are over at the Ultimate Ears booth and we are talking with Vincent, who is head of Ultimate Ears. Yeah, so my name is Vincent Liu. Nice to meet you all. I'm in charge of product design as well as operation here at Ultimate Ears Pro. And I've been working with my crew this year. Uh, actually, since last year, I was this brand new product that we're introducing at the SNAM show this year. So, nice to meet you and thank you. Please come in and have a listen. You have a chance. Now that's that is the UA Premier here. Yeah, that's the UA Premier. And so, so do this you know about our brand? Line one? Yeah, this is a new top of the line, which we just introduced yesterday. Oh, at very the show. good. Yeah. yeah. So just yesterday. Yes. So what I know about in ears is my guitar player had them. Yes. And I had just budget like hundred dollar yeah. ones that I yeah. had to play and do a click with. Okay. So were there, were there universals like with the little tips like this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is how we demo the product. But our main bread and butter is actually custom fitted devices. Right. Yep. Meaning that they are custom fit. Like this is mine, for example, right? So you don't need this tip. Right, you go to right. the audiologist or wherever, or, or, or can, here, can you can it, get yeah. fitted. Yep. Exactly, exactly. Yep. And the sound of that, if I have to like apply the percentage, will be probably around 20 to 30 percent better than this. Sure, because yeah. You get, you get a better get fit. Yeah. Better fit, better, better isolation, allows the bass and everything else to come across better. Right, yeah. yeah. So, so we got the 21 drivers, we got the eight drivers, six, and kind of exactly. all the way down. Uh, what kind of price point are we looking at for? So we're, we're for, looking for at these. about six hundred dollars from down there all the okay, way to six hundred. This, this new one, which is about three thousand. Three thousand. Okay. This one, so this particular model, which used to be before this, was our top of the line, right? It was roughly. Yeah, we're, we're doing a big jump here, eight to twenty-one. It, right, and this was actually also quite a year gap as well, right? This was probably like five or six years ago. You've been with us for talking about this for quite a while, and then. We spent all this other time thinking about how do we improve the product, not just about sound, but also other parts of the product, right? We were the first one to introduce a cable connection system like this. So this is a super strong cable. You can do this to it. Oh yeah, look at that. Not a problem, right? And the connector, some of the sound engineers like to take this apart, every single gig. Yeah. After every single gig, they like to take it apart. So we designed this along with the Danish company to allow up to 3,000 cycles. So imagine you do it once a day, right? That's a number of years before it could fail. The average is about 100 cycles. Right, so, so if somebody owns these, do you recommend them to disconnecting them just in general? Kind no, of we don't, because no, we don't see the yeah. need. But if you have to, you right. can do it. Right, right? okay. Uh, so we, we also are the first, one of the first ones to 3D print these. Okay. Right, these have all been 3D printed for probably eight years ago now. We also innovated around how the the product look. Right. Right. So imagine you you spend all this money. Right. This is like your your purple Ferrari, and all of a sudden, purple Ferrari is not a good idea. What do I do? I'm stuck with it. Well, without design, you don't have. Oh, look at that! You can take it right off. You can take it right off. It's, Kind of small. My fingers aren't really right. Right, right. I can see but, that it'll come off. Yeah. Right. So you could literally swap that onto this. Yeah. You could buy a few sets from us. Right. Whatever you like. Yeah. Graphics, color design like this. It's coming up to you. So then, during COVID, we had a lot of time to reflect. You know, we did all of that. What else can we bring to our customers? That's real benefit. We then started talking to our co-developer. In this case, it's a company called Knowles. Knowles supplies all these little speakers that's inside the driver. So we really want to do something that's real to the to the public, right? It's not just about adding more drivers. This is the first time ever, I think, in this business that we have a frequency response rate from 5K, uh, so, sorry, 5, kilo, uh, 5 hertz all the way to 40 kilohertz. Right. So you, you, can, you can argue, What's up there in front of You know, because you can't hear past 20, whatever. Right, you, you can't know. hear. But with this design, you're guaranteed that 120, yep. 120, 120K is actually really, really good. Right. Really, really solid. Yeah. Right. That's what I was trying to strive for. So there, with this, there is some tech, no, new, new technology being introduced as well, such as uh, one of the the, 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 the Wolper, right, has a dual, uh, what we call a dual di diaphragm. Uh -huh. So it's still the same kind of package but it's doing double amount of work. Right. So 
And also, there is a Koa Super Tweeter that takes it from 20 to, two, to 40 kilohertz. Okay, yeah. Right, so there are, and then of course, our two-tone driver is in there as well to provide the harmonics right. from the mid-range as well as the, the standard lows. Mm -hmm. Right, so with this design, you wonder, right, is there less sensitivity? No, it's actually just about sensitive, it's not more sensitive than ours on uh, the product. So you don't have to worry about, is it ever going to play it out or not? It will. Yeah. But it also has a sensitivity and the, the resolution, right, to, to be able to allow you to hear whatever you want to hear. Right. I, yeah, I mean, I listened. It sounded really good. I listened to, like, Steely Dan, which is a very flat-sounding music, you know? Yeah. So we try to add the color because we know yeah. as a as an engineer, as a musician, right? You're gonna tailor to your flavor. Yeah. So right? would you would you say that if you were a, an engineer in a bind, could you mix on these? Yes. Yeah. So in this design, so we we also when we look into a new product, right? We don't just start by saying this is what we want to do. Yeah. You know, in my tenure as a product guy, I'm often wrong. Right. So what do we do? We we actually go out and talk to real users real customers. Right. So in this case, we talked to some of the composers, top producers in Hollywood, right. as well as live performers. Right. What do you need? Right. What do you want to get out of this? And also through the various stages of development, we developed prototypes and they have used them and gave us feedback. Yep. So this is not a product where just by self, by my team think it's great. Yep. But it's actually, we got a good feedback from the customers. So we, we came to the show, analysis was all accomplished. Yep. Yeah. I'm a drummer, so noise isolation is a big thing. Yep. I'm sure, just based on everything I understand, if you get custom molds, yes. the isolation is going to be way, way better yes. than anything. Yeah. So that's so that something that standard, I want right? to get. I've never had that. So. Yeah, that that's comes standard, right? With, yeah. with, if you want to be the custom in your business, number one thing, right? It, it has to make the custom fit fit well yeah. and be comfortable, yeah. right? long lasting, long, long, long wearing. That's number yeah. one. But we're also in the earbud business, so it has to sound good. Yeah. Sound good in the process that it has to have the resolution, it has to be neutral, right? Yeah. Being transparent, not adding too much coloration. Right. right. Let's say that yeah. uh, you want to get a pair of these, yeah. and you're going to go to an audiologist to right. get fitted. Right. Now, do you accept any audiologist, or do you have a list of approved people that you can use? We have both. So typically, we we have. You can find our website. Yep. So you can find the standard document where it gives specific instruction to audiologists. Oh, okay. So there's specific material that we require, but it's a pretty standard material. Okay. Right? Cool. And also instruction to audiologists how deep they go. But we also have a dealer network with scanning technology available. Um, so you can also reach out to the dealer network as well. Very good. Right. Well, so this is the brand new product. This is a brand new product. And is there anything yeah. in the works after this, or is this kind of right well, now? There, this is what we're hitting on with the show, right? Okay, yeah. Of course, we always, always try to innovate. Right. So maybe we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, aspect. yeah, I'll be at the next one for sure. I appreciate Thank you. talking Thank today. You. Thank you. Hi, Nick. I'm Thomas. Right. I'm going to do the physical nice impression you. for you. Ultimate ears, custom in your monitors. Okay. Have you ever had your ears molded before? I've only used foam inserts and stuff like that. Like the foam ones, you know. the, oh, the, the foam ones. Yeah, okay. foam ones. Yeah, yeah. So what the process is, I'll have a look into your ears first. What I'm looking for is when you have physical abnormalities or earwax build up that will um, limit the process that I okay. want to apply today. If they're clear, then you're going to put a cotton block into the ear canal that has two functions to stop the um, ear impression material to go too deep, but also for the impression material to hit and fill up your ear canal. Okay. And then the ear impression material that gets injected is a two component silicon polyvinyl mix that will firm up with help of your body temperature from the inside out. So having this injected into your ears will feel like going underwater and you're not going to hear very much for about four to five minutes. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll get started. So I'm just grabbing my otoscope and um, a funnel and I'm having a look at your ears. Hand sanitizer. So it's all sterile and clean safe because it's important and I'm just having a look into your ear. So what I'm looking for is, is any abnormalities. So I can see the eardrum in the distance to get a good cone of light which looks like it's all intact and in good condition. And I'll do this for the other side as well. You might find more wax build up on this one. Yeah but the ear canal is actually clean. It's clear. I can do a cone of light so that it all looks it looks good. You can ready 
it's ready for them to go. Okay. All right, so the next step in the process is um, inserting a cotton block so that the impression material doesn't go too deep. Now letting you know we are sensitive in our ears. Everyone responds differently to it. So I'm going to um, put the stem into your ear canal. You're okay. probably going to ask yourself, Ron, where I'm going with this, but rest assured it's a safe process. Okay. All right. If you have the urge to cough, feel free to do so. It's a little cough reflex nerve at the bottom of the ear canal. It might get triggered perhaps by the um, process. But let's see how this goes. All right, are you comfortable with that? That's good. Excellent. All right, how's that then? Okay, that's good. Is that all right? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh, you got it in there far enough? Yeah, yeah. All right. It's a lot more muted now. I can only hear half as good. Oh, good. That's what we want, yeah. right? A bit of peace around here for a change. Yeah, a little bit. All right. All right. So we do this for the right. All right, here we go again. Yeah. All right. How do you feel about that? You okay with that? I'm okay. Good. How does that feel? Uh, it's okay. It hurts a little bit, but we good. Yep. You good with that? Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Look, my eyes are water a little bit, but that's about it. That's part of it. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna mix up the ear impression material. So we have here the base material and some hardener. So I'm going to put the material into my palm of my hand, put the square on, then I'm going to... I'm running a line with the hardener along the, the length of it. Then I'm going to mix this together until it's uniform in color. So we're looking for a light blue color. Here we are, making good progress. Alright, so I'm going to put this into the syringe here. All right, so that gets now injected into your ear, okay? So there might be a little bit of pressure perhaps, All right. but it feels like I'm um, going underwater. It's yep. a really strange sensation. All right. All right. Here we go, slowly. It's coming out. It's now filling up the ear. Beautiful, the material flows really nicely. And in this case here, we better off to have too much material than too little. I can't hear anything he's saying. <laughs> All right, left ear is done. So I'm going to proceed to the right ear, preparing the ear impression material. Again, I put this into the palm of my hand, run a rectangular line on it. I'm going to run the hardener links twice along this. I'm going to mix this up. Now with the hardener and the base material can actually influence the duration on the mix and then also how long it's going to take to fully firm up in the ear canal once it's injected. We expect a curing time of about four, five minutes at, at the most. And then we'll remove it from our next ear. All right, here we come. Nicely flowing. Here we are. Filling up that ear. Right, done. Good man. Yeah. So, see, if I can't leave a line in it, then I know it's fully hardened. At the moment, it's still not quite ready. The material has now firmed up from the inside out. It feels really um, solid, which is nice. It's not rock hard, but it's very, very firm. So I'm gonna break the seal around the mold and we wanna let some air into the ear canal so that, um, here we go. All right, nice one. So that's just like here again. Yeah. All right. And we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so the right ear has now firmed up as well. So we're gonna break the seal and we're gonna take out the mold from the ear. Beautiful, good length, good size right. ear canal. If you are, so do you want to take a photo of them? Yeah, let's take a photo of it. Yeah. Most important process is always to check oh, the right. ear yep. before you leave. Make sure it's all intact. 
Yeah, the goal looks good. And here as well. That's fantastic. Sure. Awesome. Well done, Nick. Thank you for Thanks demonstrating and showing all of how this all works. Are oh, you welcome? No yeah. problem at all. All right, we just finished up at Ultimate Ears. The guy who comes next to me, none other than DJ Jazzy Jeff. I just got both of my ears molded for custom in ears. And actually, what's kind of cool is they have two different ways that they mold ears now, apparently. They have the way that we just did it with the silicone. And they also have like a 3D imaging kind of sensor that will scan your ear, so that's pretty cool. We had it the old school way. Uh, yeah, it was pretty uncomfortable at times, but I'm sure you can see my eyes watering. Let's go see what else we can find.